Welcome to Sujaya's Chemical Engineering Forum. In this series of videos we shall discuss how the human factor has led to serious accidents in the chemical process industry. We shall analyze the subject with the help of a few case studies. We all make, all mistakes. make mistakes. Humans, Humans are, prone are prone to error to. as, obviously, we are not machines. Humans are affected by emotions, social and behavioral changes and myriad other factors, even weather. Our thinking process is far more complex than machine thinking or artificial intelligence. This complex thinking process enables us to execute very complex and demanding tasks like social interaction, ethical ways of life, decision making and intuitive ways of problem solving. But this complex structure of our brain which gives rise to our intelligence makes us error prone. We forget, we jump one step, we miscalculate makes mistakes in measurements, misread measurements, and sometimes we take undue risks. Orthochlorobenzene reacts with methanol and caustic soda to produce orthonitroanisole. The reaction is exothermic. First, methanol and orthochlorobenzene are placed in the reactor and mixed. Stirrer is then switched off, the liquid level is checked by opening a manway cover. Then the cover is replaced and the stirrer is switched on. The temperature is raised to 80 degrees Celsius by passing hot water through the reactor jacket and the pressure is raised to 9 bar gauge with nitrogen. A solution of caustic soda in methanol is then added gradually and the temperature is maintained at 80 degrees Celsius by flowing cooling water through the jacket. One day, after replacing the manway cover the operator forgot to switch on the stirrer. There was no mixing, caustic soda plus methanol formed a separate layer. No reaction occurred, and the operator had to apply heat instead of cold to maintain temperature. Then he remembered to start the stirrer and immediately did so. What do you think might have happened? As the exothermic reaction started suddenly with a lot of reactants, a lot of heat was generated all on a sudden. Moreover, there was no heat removal through the jacket water system as the operator had previously turned in hot water supply to maintain the temperature. As the temperature inside the reaction vessel kept increasing, the reaction became a runway reaction and the vessel exploded, sending a very nasty yellow liquid all over a 1 km radius. While analyzing the incident, we realize that some designs have inherent flaws which make the process very vulnerable to operator mistakes. That is why nowadays design reviews focus more on reliability and robustness. For example, in the case study under discussion, the batch reaction process could be made much safer had there been an interlock between starting the stirrer after replacing the manhole cover and moving the steps forward. Process checklists and be a great way to reduce operator errors. Frequency of operator mistakes can be reduced by refresher training and process awareness campaigns. Awareness campaigns can also train people about the correct way of rectification of the errors. For example, in this case study, the operator should not have started the stirrer after charging the second reactant, as the rapid mixing between large amounts of the reactants would lead to runaway reaction. A safety case document detailing the appropriate response for similar potentially hazardous situations can help operators take the proper steps to avoid any safety incidents such as this one.